Hello, folks, folks, folks. Here we go. This is an amazing thing we have going on today. We have figured out how to take moving pictures, video games, interactive films, and put them on the internet for you to see. We have live feedback in the form of you writing text. We read it. Our voices go in, become digitized, they modulate, and they come out the other end as glorious digitized perfection. You're not going to want to miss this show today. It is full of zombies. It is full of danger. It is full of the people you love to watch get eaten by zombies and be full of danger. It's going to be something. I just finished Resident Evil 1. Man, Resident Evil's. Hey, kids, cover your ears. Resident Evil's bullshit. Uh, and I'm glad to see that continue in uh, Resident Evil 2. Laurie 2. Uh, just, man, I looked up a timeline, and at some point, most of the timelines I looked up just ended in a shoulder shrug. Just that, just that, just that um, thing that people make with the ASCII art, and people just said, don't worry about it. But uh, we'll, we'll go check out, see how these folks on the other end of the window fare and see how they do. wonder if they'd unlock the door if they saw me banging on the window on this bulletproof, scientist-proof glass here with a zombie in the room. Would they hunker down? We'll never know. Let's check it out. Let's fade to black. See what happens. Stay tuned. Hold on to your butt or a zombie's gonna eat it. Hello, it's a Wednesday, mm -hmm. and we are doing a pre-show for a stream. Dan just pointed at the popcorn. You say Wednesday, I associate that with popcorn. As do Guys you, apparently. That? This is my second bowl. The other day, it wasn't this week, I think it was last week, I was in line for my second bowl of popcorn, um, and there was a woman in front of me also getting a bowl, and I'm like, great, popcorn friends. And then I see her after she gets her bowl walk to a table with like four other women and they all start eating from the same bowl. And I'm like, I'm on my second one. The same tiny one bowl? bowl? They the were same sharing tiny bowl. Four? That's like four kernels each. Like y'all stop showing off. We get it. You, you must have some sort of weird teeth that don't allow anything between them because you don't get anything stuck between there? Uh, I get some stuff, but it doesn't bother me that much. Neat. I have, I don't have like gaps on that missing teeth. So it's like occasionally like the little kernel skin will like get dug in there, but... I may be on the opposite side of that because you've seen I have to floss after any time I yes. eat anything at all. And popcorn is like a, a main offender of that. So I, I envy your ability to eat this. Uh, Maybe I just stream. don't mind a bunch of crap in my teeth. Uh, I think it's it's the worst. And I need it mm. out immediately. Wow. Oh, look, it's Vinny. Oh, yeah? yeah? Oh, boy, I am. I, oh, I got the uh, the Alex role of, of being yes. way too bright here. Um, I was telling Dan earlier because he came in with a haircut. And I was I saying he looks like Arthur Morgan. Like if your hair is at like a one with like the fade. Okay. And then your beard is at like a six or a seven. That's the one that's the, okay. It's a tribute to my favorite game of <laughs> the generation. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. We don't need to talk hey, about it anymore. I like the character. I think the character of Arthur Morgan is is quite good. He's great. Mm -hmm. Perhaps actually genuinely one of the better protagonists I've ever seen in a video game. So there. So right. it, it could be a tribute. <laughs> okay. Yes. No need to get so... <laughs> I was just complimenting your new right, haircut, sorry. Dan. <laughs> sorry. I'm very quickly turning anything in. I have complicated thoughts about certain subjects that I have not quite reconciled with myself, <sighs> but thank you. Yes. yes. Thank you, Dan. Um, how are we looking and sounding, Vinny? Good. Your haircut also looks good, Vinny. Thanks. Mm -hmm. that guy. Trying a little something new this time. Uh -huh. Growing it out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Do what you do think? the stuff? Sorry? Do you do the business yourself, or do you pay a fellow? Oh, I do the business myself. You do? Reichert. Yeah. Wow. You Save want, money. Do you want the business? I did yours. Yeah. That's, you didn't <laughs> shave my head once. I've cut two people's hair <laughs> in this <laughs> office, and I'm open for uh, business. You did not you do a Alex's great job. Of, Ooh, no. Hair? Mine. Oh, oh. His <laughs> oh, you're counting yourself. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Although, I requested that you make my hair look like The Undertaker's when yeah. he had the pizza slice mohawk, and I did not look like The Undertaker. Uh, did you not for a little bit? And then I said, I can't allow this to have, I can't allow this to leave my shop. We'd have to, the video's on the site somewhere. We'd have yeah. to check. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah, listen. Um, Dan, I have a question for you. Yes. I hope you don't, I hope you might, are you okay answering on air? How much okay. do you pay for your haircut? Um, 
they just upped it to eighteen dollars. Um, Holy cow! Uh, it used to be seventeen. What? Now, I'm not saying like you paid eighteen bucks for that. I'm just saying, did oh. they give you a trim on the beard? Uh, no, that's a little extra. I used to do that myself. Did they lather up the neck? They put uh, yeah, lather? they do some of that stuff. Yeah. How often back. do you have to go a year? I go once a month, maybe. Okay. And San Francisco I guess is six dollars. Up since it's once a month. Damn, dude. I'm just saying, I would kill to have an $18 haircut and not look like a trash monster the next day. Oh, man. It, it was six in San Francisco. It was nine in Kansas. There are plenty of places you can go for $18 haircuts and not look like a trash monster. And with curly hair, I don't think so. I think my wife's haircut's like 20 bucks, but I appreciate the compliment. Thank you. I mean, I don't know. I'm sure your wife's hair is great. Doesn't uh, she have like a friend who does it or something? No, she just got sick and tired of paying $80 and started dude, going to town. I mean, $80. I have a lady for eighty dollars. I couldn't go to her last time because she's like, been like fucking booked for months. So I had to get the expensive one. And you oh need like boy. a special degree to do curly hair cuts. There is like a special curly. Way. It's called the diva cut, which okay. is a, not a fun thing to have to say. Um, <laughs> but they cut it dry. Okay, gotcha. So can you go into like a sports clips and they'll they'll cut your hair? I don't even know what the fuck a sports <laughs> clips is. Do they have sports clips out here? I don't. No. Is that really? oh wait? I think I've seen one. I think I saw Super one cuts? in a mall no. when I was in Minneapolis, where it was like a bunch of women like sitting on like bleacher benches yeah. while their husbands and sons yeah. sat in chairs, and there were a bunch of like sports TVs. I, yes. It seemed like the most condescending and, thing and in the world. Lockers and everything. I, I'm yes. not a sports guy, but I pretty much exclusively got my haircut at sports cuts growing up, and they they always try to talk to you about sports, and I'm just like, do you want to really? talk about Monday Night Raw? I bet they must. I bet they're like. Our hairdressers, you got to be up on your sports knowledge because yeah. that's what the men want. For, for dudes to come in that's and just get no frills haircuts. Yeah. It was cheap. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. You got to pretend to like sports, though. I'll watch baseball and get my haircut. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Small talk during haircuts, the worst. Oh, I know. I don't like the it. Last don't talk to me. I don't know. try not to touch me. Just the metal on my head, please. I mean, I'm fine with like, you want to fucking give me a head massage? Go for no. it. But don't touch me. Just. Yeah. I'm definitely down for like no talking. I didn't have to talk to this guy this time, which is good. It's like but talking at the dentist. Like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> yeah. You've got, you've yeah. got me trapped. I, you've I trapped me here. I got a haircut in Minneapolis once and she was asking what I did. And I was like, oh yeah, I write for a video game magazine. And she's like, a video game magazine? Oh my God. Like if, if my boyfriend told me he played video games, I would just break up with him. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh lady, Guess I'll come keep on, read the room. And, yeah. <laughs> Great. I love when people have you strapped to a chair with surgical instruments yeah. and are just like, we don't respect your profession <laughs> <Yeah>. or hobbies. <laughs> what do you think about that? Don't move. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to react. Oh, that's yeah. the good stuff. <laughs> Good yeah. stuff. Speaking of uh, of accidentally slitting somebody's throat, should we get going? Yay! I'm accidental about this game. That's true. This is all intentional. Mm-hmm. Stay tuned for Resident Evil Two.